All right, so for performance task two, um, we have two, or sorry, three different options. Um, so very similar idea to the first performance task. Um, these are just options. You just pick one. Please do not do all of them. Um, pick one and make a project about it. So um, we'll go through, I'll go through each of these options here. Um, option A is to research a quadratic relationship in real life. Um, use your research to graph this relationship and then explain what each part of the graph means in context. So that just means like, um, like where is the max and min? What does it mean? Where, where are the x-intercepts and what does that mean? Um, where is it increasing and decreasing? What's its concavity and why? So there's a lot of questions there to answer, um, but, but just graphing a real life quadratic um, relationship and just explaining what it means in context. So a lot of quadratic relationships in real life have to do with gravity or with um, falling objects or objects that are thrown up into the air in some way. Um, those are called vertical motion um, models. So there's a lot of options there and Google can help you on uh, what, what real life quadratic relationships exist out there. Um, I don't have any examples to show you of that one for some reason. Um, that, I don't know why. There were plenty of people that chose that option last year, um, but I just didn't take a picture. Uh, so option B is to describe how you might explain multiplying polynomials to a seventh or eighth grader. They already understand distribution of single terms. Why does the extended distribution we learned in this unit make sense? Give examples and try to explain it using logical reasoning or connect it to something that might be relevant to them. You might also want to be creative and teach them using a rhyme or a song or dance. Um, so of course that one's super open to interpretation. That was really fun last year. I had some people like actually videotape themselves teaching a younger brother or sister um, how to multiply polynomials or just a friend from the younger grades that uh, hasn't done it yet. Um, and then there's also like people who made posters about multiplying polynomials um, like this one just sort of explaining why what's happening and why um, so either one of those I mean anything really works for that one um, get creative it's always more fun when you're creative about it um, option C is to create a piece of artwork using only quadratic functions on a graphing tool um, by graphing tool, I mean probably Desmos. Um, there is a link on my Canvas page, on my homepage to Desmos, and you can sign up, or I guess not sign up, you sign in using your Google account. So you create like an account, and that way it will save what you do. Um, and so you can do a lot of cool things with parabolas um, and graphing parabolas, so it can be an abstract piece of art or... Um, you know, whatever. Um, I last year I made a like a little self portrait out of parabolas because I felt like it. Um, I had several people make. I'll show you, uh, like abstract pieces of art using parabolas. So this one was really cool. They printed it out and colored it. Um, this person too printed it out and colored it, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this person did like a Stranger Things. Uh, like project and I thought that was like ultra cool um, all out of parabolas so anyway so there's a lot of uh, cool creative space that you can get to there and I would recommend using Desmos because um, it's a very like self-explanatory graphing tool um, and if you need help with it you feel free to always you can always email me um, I might put together a little tutorial on how to use Desmos but like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just need to write some equations for parabolas and then change them as you want to change the parabolas. So here we're using the skills that we learned from um, from the graphing parabolas section, that one dash or sorry, two dash four that we just did. Um, that will allow you to put a parabola where you want it and then squish it and stretch it depending on what you're going for. Um, so use use that formula per se to um, move quadratics around the graph. Um, so that's an option. And then it just says give a description of the func functions. I'm fine if you just give me a list of the functions that you graphed. 
um, because the artwork is like its own sort of thing. Um, so that, those are all your three options for this unit. Normally there is three. I don't know why the first unit had four. Um, I just wanted to give an extra, I guess. Um, I also wanted to remind you that on Canvas, like below this video, <clears throat> on Canvas should be links to the medium list. And um, this is just a list of ideas for what, um, how to do these projects. So um, of course not all of them will work for all of the options. But um, but if you need some inspiration, just check out check out this list. Um, I don't know if I talked about it last time, but it's a good resource for if you're stuck on like what to do. Um, but you so like you will still pick an option from the performance task options, the A, a B, and C options on the performance task. But these are like these are how you do it, right? Like, do you make a PowerPoint? Do you? Um, write a poem about your topic. I actually had someone do that last year. Or do you um, make an animation or make a comic or write a blog post or an essay like other or a Kahoot? Like a lot of these will work for certain performance tasks, but um, honestly, most of them are pretty versatile. So if you really want to do one of these things, I'm sure you could find a way to do it. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to talk about that really quick. And um, please remember that if you have questions on the performance test, they're not meant to be something really hard. Um, they exist so that your grade doesn't weigh so heavily on your test grades. Um, however, that being said, if you skip this, your grade tanks because it's 30 points in your test and project category, which is, um, which is a lot. So it impacts your grade. Please do not skip it. If you have questions, um, just ask. Um, yeah. Let me know.